Hi guys, I thought I would share about hustle mentality. I made a new friend recently. It's a, a friend of a friend. Um, he said he's been following me on social media since she told him to follow me. And then we um, have gotten to know each other the last little bit. And as I was describing my mentality about life and my life flow, my day flow, my workflow, he was like, what? <laughs> he was like, wow. That is definitely not the impression I get from social media. And I was like, really? And um, he's like, yeah, you should share that more. Because from social media perspective, it seems like you are just like one of those like sleep when I'm dead, super crazy discipline type A personality people. And so I thought I would share. <laughs> I am definitely not one of those people. And I know that I'm creating a lot. I, know I have built a pretty successful coaching business, um, from scratch really started in 2019. So it's only like three years into the way I do my coaching now with mindset, you know, and started a podcast. I've written a book, I'm doing retreats. I've got a bunch of business partnerships and, you know, masterminds and all of these things. I have four kids single, right? So, but as I was explaining to him, I'm like, no, dude, because I, listen, I can hustle. I know how to do that. I've done that. I've been the sleep when I'm dead person. I've been the adrenal fatigue person. I've been the earn my value through achievement and my body and all of that shit. And I have healed from that. And I will tell you, like, it's no way to live, man. And so I'll tell you, I'll, I will share with you if in case this is of value to anybody. I just want to be clear. I don't live like that. I intentionally create my life to have a lot of calm, as much calm and as much yin as possible. And I wasn't always this way. And I'll share with you what it looks like and the difference that I experience in terms of success. Okay. So <laughs> I do it like that. Cause it's like, what does success mean to you? To me, success means that I am freaking happy and that I'm thriving and that I have time to nurture my relationships and that I come first right? I come first, not my business, my success, my, my body, the way it looks or whatever. It doesn't come first over my own personal happiness and my ability to relax and enjoy my freaking life. So, um, I do have what I call, uh, flexible, flexible scheduling, right? So I have certain pieces of structure in my life that are like pretty much non-negotiables and the rest is really bendy. And I give myself a lot of free time. Has anybody ever done the time tracker exercise where you like track every single hour? It's, it's helpful, right? You see how things are going. Well, basically the idea of tracking your time throughout the day is to see like where you're wasting time. <laughs> and I went through a process, man, of like, I, I laugh because at one point I had this like schedule made where literally every hour was planned out. Okay. <laughs> And I quickly learned that shit doesn't work and it sucks because it does not allow for any creativity, any flow. Um, it doesn't allow you to move with the energy needed in your life. And so I have key points of structure that I have noticed, that I have become aware, bring to my life what I want. And that is getting up early, getting up. I get up every morning at 5 a.m. And I am a little bit militant in that time. I'm not going to lie a little bit because it sets a tone for my day that keeps me, um, I don't know. It keeps me in this mentality of proactive living. Okay. So I get up at five, make my bed, get dressed, all that stuff. And my goal is to be, I want my butt sitting on the floor of my living room where I meditate every morning by five 30. Right. And just keeps me on track. Um, so I meditate for 10 minutes and then I do three items of written gratitude and how I feel when I think about those things. That's the same thing I have my clients do. I do the same thing. I don't ask my clients to do shit that I don't do. Right. And so, um, the reason I write how I feel when I think about those things is because it helps me identify my emotions and become more emotionally intelligent, more, um, connected to how I'm feeling. Because a lot of times I admit all the time, still, sometimes I have sensations in my body. I'm like, dude, what am I feeling right now? Right? Like we don't have skills on that. So I'm working on those skills. Okay. And then the practice of gratitude, if you have not implemented this in your life, I'm telling you, like, you literally cannot exist in gratitude and negative emotions at the same time. It is impossible. Try it. Try to fill yourself with gratitude right now for everything that you have in your life and feel depressed and sad and not enough at the same time. You literally can't. 
It is a high vibrational frequency and I want to tap myself into that high vibrational frequency right after meditation. Um, and then I do my own personal development that I have my clients do. And, and I do that's, it's very simple. This takes like literally my gratitude and the personal development takes like less than 10 minutes. But man, does it, is it life changing? So I do, um, at this phase in my personal development thing, it's just Monday. I have these things called the four peaks in my higher coaching. So it's personal, professional, physical, and people is like relationships. And I have like a one little goal going in those things all the time. And it's just help me have something to look forward to help keep me on track, help keep me focused. Right. So I do have some structure there. Okay. And then right now I play with it. I change it right now. I'm, I'm writing a book. Um, and so from six to seven, that's writing time because if I don't do it, then I'm never going to freaking do it. I have learned. <laughs> so, um, seven o'clock the laptop closes and I go to the gym. All right. And then I don't take any calls. Like the rest of my work schedule is extremely flexible. The only time I will take calls from people is 11 to two on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. The rest of the time I want freedom because quite frankly, a lot of the work that I do in my career is creative work. And if any, uh, if there's any creatives out there, you know that you got to be able to flow with the energy. You got to be able to have space to create space for things to come in. If it's too rigid, you can't be creative, right? <laughs> It's like having an artist being like, you have to do it like this. It's like you would rob them of that. And I look at my the work that I do. I'm writing programs. I'm, you know, moving with the energy with my clients and what they need. I need time to be able to think about those things. And I'm running a business. It's also, you know, you've probably heard the phrase, work on your business, not in your business. So I'm trying to delegate as much as I can. So grateful for my team um, that you know, that was a journey too. If you don't have a team, you know, I didn't have a team three years ago. Right. And so that's been a journey too. And I, um, demand for myself space to be able to be calm and creative and to think and to feel into what is needed for my life. And, um, pretty much never work. I mean, four o'clock would be the latest I'm doing any sort of work stuff seven right now I'm doing this cause I freaking felt like it. I give myself a lot. It's like, if you freaking feel like it, why not? But there's no pressure. I'm trying to eliminate pressure from my life as much as possible. And I have found that everything that I create, everything that I'm doing has become more powerful as I've removed pressure and have leaned more into the energy of like freedom and giving myself space and things like that. So, you know, really I do have one other, you know, two little zoom calls with my clients that are outside. I have a Monday night mindset call on a Friday morning, like awesome check-in call. That's like literally just fun. Um, but I don't, I, other than that, I honestly, I don't take any calls on Fridays or Mondays. So I give myself a lot of space because when I do go in the hole, I go in the freaking hole. You know what I mean? It takes a tremendous, if anybody is doing the kind of work that I'm doing with mindset and health coaching, it takes a tremendous amount of presence and active listening. And honestly, it feels like channeling a lot. It's like, what is needed? You know, I'm like really, really in that energetic space with them. And so I reserve for myself plenty of time to be out of that intensity so that I can recover and sharpen the saw as you may, have, may, may be familiar with. Um, so I, let's see, do you use just a piece of paper or a journal with guided questions for my, um, for my gratitude journal? It's just a notebook. It's just a plain notebook. I just write the date and then three things and how I feel when I think about those things. My personal development is a program that I created, right? And sometimes, yeah, like sometimes I have to go in the hole, you know what I mean? But I make sure that I never teeter into that energy of feeling run into the ground because everything I do becomes less effective when I'm in that energy. So I will change things. I'm like, eh, I thought I was going to do that tomorrow. There's no freaking way. I'm not showing up in that energy. I am not in that space. And yeah, I mean, I know I have that freedom and ability to do that because I run my own business. But also, I mean, I started my business from freaking zero, <laughs> ground zero, ground zero. So it is possible, you know, um, just saying, is it important as a beginner in the gym to make technique a hundred percent correct? Um, that's an interesting question. I would say, yeah, when you're a beginner, I would be a technique geek as much as possible and learn that mind muscle connection, you know, watch people, especially people that like seem to at least know what they're doing. That's probably a bad piece of advice. Um, you know, like the, 
the people that seem like they're really in technique into technique, sometimes they can be good people, you know, hire a coach, but yeah, I would get kind of form geeky in the beginning of a fitness journey, right? Because if you're like sitting there, like trying to do some exercise and you're activating all the wrong muscles, I call them accidental muscles. You probably still do something, but you'll probably end up causing some messed up movement patterns in your body. So I would, yeah, in the beginning, go lighter and work on technique. Um, yeah. So just wanted to share that. Like, so, so much of my ability to create has be, has come from the fact that I demand peace and space and calm for myself. To me, that is where creativity is born in the, in the yin and the feminine energy or whatever, you know, word you want to put on it. I just, it's just calm. And that is where all the inspiration and the vision comes in. Right. And so just want to share that. Cause if I'm given the impression that I'm like one of those, like adrenal fatigue, work myself into the ground kind of people, I'm not. And my ability to produce has become greater because I refuse to do it myself. I'm just not going to do it. <laughs> if it's going to push me into those like adrenal fatigue, I am definitely not a, like, I can't go to sleep if I didn't f finish my to-do list. I have graduated out of that level of life. And I have this little saying, I have all these little sayings I do to myself all the time. And it's like, it's over, baby game over. Try again tomorrow. You know? So like, I don't know what time it is for you if you're watching this live, but like for me it's seven 15, I'm, I'm literally going to go inside and get my kids all settled in their room, take some melatonin, journal, use my Zen spray from John Laurent's, take some magnesium, and I'm going to sleep. <laughs> right? It's just, it's game over. Like, what would I be doing tonight that would be that productive with my time? That would, like, really build my life? Like, nothing. You know? And I could sit there and scroll TikTok or scroll Instagram or, you know, be on dating apps or whatever the freak people, you know, I've, I've done all those things in periods of my life. And it's like, okay, cool. Well, that's not, <laughs> that's not what's best for me. And so that's really the mentality that I've graduated into is like, when you get into that mentality of, I want what's best for me, even if it's uncomfortable, even if you have to change some patterns, it's such a self-honoring space. It makes healthy eating easier. It makes training intuitively with your body much easier. Um, I, last night I did have to stay up late because my daughter had this freaking nightmare thing happen and <laughs> I got a call after I was already asleep and had to go handle it, you know? And so I just was not in the same energy levels today. And so I just walked, I did a little bit of light triceps and I was like, nah, dude, <laughs> not today, not today, sister, you know? And I just went home, ate some food and <laughs> took it easy today. And like, when you want what's best for you, you can allow that in yourself. You don't get in these fear mindsets of like, I have to, I have to, because if I don't, I'm not going to be enough. I'm going to lose all my muscle. I'm going to gain body fat. I can't eat. I can't eat to society or I'll get fat or I can't ever rest because then I won't be able to prove my worth through whatever freaking story I have about life that means I, if I don't do this thing, then I'm worthless. You know, like I've graduated from those things in my life and all it has brought for me is more production, more, um, collaboration, more welcoming and help being able to receive in my life, being able to create win win, win situations and more connection with myself, my friends, my kids, you know? And so just want to share if, if I'm projecting an image, cause I know a lot of times I post when I'm in that like dopamine adrenaline space, cause I get tons of inspiration. So I'll post a lot in that energy, but do not be mistaken. Like I don't live like that. And I don't want to be somebody that's promoting a message of you should just drive yourself into the ground to like prove your worth. Nah, <laughs> the more calm, the more calm that we can be in, the more we can be in tune, the more we can create when you're in frantic, frenetic energy all the time, you're just, you can get lost on these paths, you know, and that's definitely something I've learned. So I just thought I'd share that. Okay. Thank you for joining me. I am um, going to go to bed now. <laughs> all right. Have a good night. Bye guys. <laughs>